Hi, it's Evelyn here. I'm back today with my third video for the Sean Petit creative team. This time I created this lovely butterfly girl and I used two stencils from Sean, mosaic minis and butterflies with masks. Here you can see some of the supplies I used, but they will all be listed on the blog. I fuzzy cut a whole bunch of lovely butterflies from one of the collage packs from Jean Petit. You can find them in her shop. And the other papers are also collage packs from but uh, from uh, Sean. All are butterfly related. I was working on a wooden board from the hardware store and it's a leftover piece. You can get these pieces for very little money. I cut and tore my papers to size and arranged them on my board. Then I glued them down with matte medium. Here is my finished background. After drying I gave it a generous coat of white gesso to tone it down. Next I stenciled the masks from the butterfly stencil with white gesso to the background to get some more texture. Time for color now. I used um, Finnebaer liquid acrylics. Um, I put them to a spray bottle and added some water to it. So you get a um, really fluid acrylic paint and I really like the colors and I uh, really like how they turn out in the end. Uh, the same I did with uh, tiger orange and um, yes the combination of turquoise and orange is delicious I think I wanted to tone down a little bit the colors and so I mixed burnt sienna with matte medium and water and uh, spread it over the surface and uh, but the most of the paint I took away with a cloth.
now I wanted to push back everything a little bit more so I used a white gesso with a brayer and I really love how it turned out I thought I would like another color, so I really, really randomly uh, put some, only a, only a hint of magenta uh, here and there, and um, yes, I think it looks great. Now I use the second stencil for my project, the Mosaic Minis and I dab the colors I used in the background through it with, a, with the help of a sponge. Now I started to draw my face. I love to draw faces and I personally need always a reference photo. This helps me to find the right shape of the face, where I have to go the eyes, the nose, the lips and so on. It helps me to find the right angle of the face and where to set shadows and highlights. At the beginning I start to uh, sketch roughly my face. I lightly draw all the main parts of the face, eyes, nose, lips, um, eyebrows, before I start to define everything. This time I used a water soluble pencil. Um, I will go in with a wet br brush and you will see it's a very creepy moment because everything will look very ugly but I will fix it later. I did speed up the video and I hope you enjoy watching. When the basic drawing is ready, I go in with white and black charcoal pencil and uh, charcoal sticks and so on to set more highlights and 
uh, to define even more all parts of the face. Drawing a face for me is a long process. It takes me one week or so where I corresponded with my picture. It is sitting on my working table and I come back to it several times. Then I set some brushed strokes here and there, go back with my pencil, with my charcoal and it lasts some days before I call it done. When I finished my picture I give the surface a generous coat of fixative to protect it. I took my fuzzy cut butterflies and arranged them around the girl. Then I glued them down with matte medium and toned them down with watered down white gesso. I added some stamping for more interest to the background and um, drew the antennas of the butterflies with a brown uh, pit artist pen. For more depth I surrounded all my butterflies with a black charcoal pencil and spread it with a paper stump. The idea for my butterfly girl came from this wonderful quote. I stamped and clear embossed it and then I added it to my picture.
So here you saw me adding some finishing touches. I added some black and white splatters with a liquid watercolor in and some um, animal dots in turquoise and well you see I can't let it go and fiddle here and there but um, I promise it's done then. Um, I hope you like my butterfly girl. I would appreciate a thumbs up and thank you very much for watching. Bye bye.